What do you want me to do? There's no words on there. There's no fucking words on there. Fuck it. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh. What's up there? A whole week. How are you doing? It's been a week. Hey, it's us. It's the a- ASMR episode. No, it's not. No, April. it's not the ASMR episode. That's Christmas. April soon. Fools might be ready. <laughs> might be ready. Um, but I'm Andy, and I'm Dan. This is just Andy. Just Andy, indeed, it is. Um, where do we want to start? Who wants to rant first? All right, so today we're gonna go over a little like little like bulleted list. Bulleted list. Little. Uh, so we got a Mario Odyssey review coming in. Odyssey, yeah, great game. Great. Um, Spoiler: We're not that. We're not there yet. Sonic so- Forces review. Pretty uh, good. We won't say that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well uh, uh, we got Marvel. Uh, Marvel Disney fun. trying to take yes, over twenty uh, first century Fox. Yes. Um, I have a personal story that's gonna get worked in at some point. Yes, that's um, also very but important. Do we start? Is with... there anything else we need to get to? Is that the four? Is that like our four? I think that's it. That's all we anything talked about. Else? Oh, like um, we'll oh. start with this since I remember it. Oh, um, since. Yeah, and then The Rock, I think. Um, we'll apparently, the, Rock. the Rock's Black Adam will be first debut in Suicide Squad 2. What is this? Does not make sense to me. Some kind of Suicide Squad? What is this? Some kind of Suicide Squad? <laughs> Some sort of Suicide Squad? <laughs> um, first one was fine as a movie, if we're going to like go to that point. As a superhero movie, I enjoyed it. As a fan, it wasn't a great movie. Cool, fine, whatever. I can get past that. Okay, my part, my thoughts on the movie, real quick. I thought Batman vs Superman was going to be meh. It was, to be honest. It was pretty meh. But I thought Suicide Squad was going to be like my eyes would melt out of my skull, babe. And, and it actually, it would surprise me. I thought it was better than it was better than eyes melt out of my skull. Yeah, you know the final fight was really shitty, and that's like what this stands out to me. My biggest thing is. You have a very... I think the problem with the movie is that they gave a villain that actually had, like, a lot of power. And none of those guys, except for Diablo, had any real powers. They were a bunch of fuckers. They were a bunch of people that just shot people, basically. Just punch people that shot people or threw boomerangs or some shit. Yeah. He was weird that he was a clopper, but... But <laughs> there's another big... You know, um, Zachary Levi, the guy from Chuck, got announced to play being playing Captain Marvel Shazam okay. in the Shazam Captain Marvel. I don't know how they're doing it because Marvel's coming out with Captain Marvel and DC's doing Shazam. Captain Marvel, same name. That's a big fucking thing. I don't know how Once that's working. But you would think they would put Black Adam in against Shazam, his their arch nemesis. The they're natural, fucking the yin and the yang. The natural. The basically your uh, your Green Goblin to your Spider Man, your Joker to your Batman. It would make sense, but they're like, no, 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 we're not gonna do that. We're gonna maybe put um, the Rock in Suicide Squad too. Listen, when your movies have gone on too long, you just add the Rock into it. It's the perfect strategy. Fast and the Furious did it. Uh, Jumanji did it. <laughs> Jumanji did it. Jack Black's in that though. It's a weird movie. That's a game. Like it looks pretty good. I like the concept of it. It's a, it's a it's a it's a decent way to modernize the, modernize for the newer the, the newer audience. Sure. But I also got to be like, oh fuck, I'm um, who, I'm um, guy that plays the game that's not seen after the first twenty minutes of this movie, and then maybe at the end. All right, I guess. All right, I guess fine. I'll take the paycheck. I guess I'll be in the the Jumanji movie. But it's like, ha ha ha! I'm the tall football player now. I'm Kevin Hart. It's like that's not funny. <laughs> No. <laughs> but, like, like, that makes sense. It's like, oh, I'm the pretty popular girl. Now I'm Jack Black. It's like, all right, that's kind of funny. That might be a little... Well, Jack Black's kind of funny. He's probably like, sweet. <laughs> but... No, we're um, the way off track, but yes. The Rock is in the movie. The Rock is apparently going to be in the movie. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. I'm excited for The Rock's Black Adam. Uh, if Not I had, in Suicide Squad, because I was hoping there wasn't going to be a Suicide Squad too. but... If I had to review it now without seeing it, I would... Describe it in two words. And can you guess those two words? Just Andy? No. Kind of shitty? Too soon? Too soon. 
so uh, <laughs> not any of those other words he said. I, but like that's what it is, though. Um, I think it's too early at the very least. I just don't get how it shouldn't be out of sequence. You should you shouldn't debut a villain that you would assume would be the major villain in one of your one of your staple st- movies that you're going to make. One cool. of your staple movies. It makes no sense in any sort of way. Like if the Suicide Squad two came post the other, if it, that was it'd be fine. I would, I'd have no problem. It's with okay, it. but sure. if this is the introduction. It's a little weird. Yes, it, he's not gonna. You're, there's no way that he gets enough build up. You're gonna have to retread ground almost. You're gonna have to go. You're for, wasting double the amount of film. You're wasting the film on your first pass in your Suicide Squad sequel, and then you're gonna have to probably retread the same ground here in the Shazam movie. If I, if you're gonna be honest, I don't know if he's gonna be in Shazam. That's the biggest thing. That's what they didn't know. Oh, he should be. <laughs> should be, but you know. DC's a fucking train wreck till Justice League comes out, and is then we're going to address is, that when it, it gets there. Is Schneidy still making them, dude? Um, what's his... Uh, Joss Whedon oh, does not, not have directing credits, but d- basically reshot a good ton of that movie. But we'll see. I think it's going to be all right. But on the movie train... Oh. One week from today... Oh, big old superhero movie review. Superhero double header for you. Thor Ragnarok review plus Justice League review first day. Both of them we will be crisp, spoiler ridden, spicy meatball. We'll try to do like the first half, very like general. So like Thor Ragnarok at that point would be out for like I can two give, or three I can weeks. give general reviews. No, but it's like a two or three weeks yeah. out. Justice League's gonna be fresh. Hot the presses. Less than twenty four hours. So that one will do will do you a little favor and we won't ruin the movie less than I'm a gonna day. Ruin the movie. It will be ruined in the second act, but in the beginning we'll try to make it easy. Easy for some easy listening. But But if we're on the topic of Thor Ragnarok, there were reports earlier this week that Disney was gonna buy twenty first century Fox that apparently yes. fell through. I don't know how recent the talks were. I think Ooh. it was the beginning of this week. You know, I, I, I know. that's when the articles kind of. Who I don't know when CNBC reported it. Yes, I think today's the tenth, the eleventh, some it's shit. It's like around that. there. Yeah, I mean today when this goes up, it'll be the twelfth, the tenth, the tenth. So I think it was maybe the seventh or the eighth. Yeah, um, it was earlier this week. The biggest thing with that is if Marvel, or I, I would say Marvel... I don't even under- care if they buy the whole thing. I just want, like, the X-Men and the Marvel. The biggest MCU. thing is Disney buys 21st Century Fox, buys the rights to 20th Century Fox, which owns the right to X-Men and the Fantastic Four. The film rights. The film rights. Not, not the-, the Comic rights, Marvel still owns everything. Yes. Technically, I think I'm yes. like 99 percent sure with that. They do. They, they only sold the film rights because they were in uh, very some, deep poo poo. They were some in for some financial uh, turmoil. But um, if we're gonna be honest with that, I'm gonna give my two cents here. I believe the X Men are doing really well in their own film right. I'm gonna group the X Men and Deadpool together. I think those movies are doing I yeah well. I, I will agree that. They haven't gone the route of the Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four, which the first two movies are they are what they are. Right. They are what they're they are. Fine. But oh my god, the second, the, the second, the third, the one that's like just came the out. The reboot was not holy good. Holy shit! It was the it was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in the theaters. But then again, what did I expect? Uh, not that I'll tell you that it was not what I expected. But Doctor Doom was awful. Everything was shitty. I, that's the real thing I want. I, I guess I personally like this may like great some of you, but I don't even give a shit if the fan like th- they're not in the MCU. I just want Doctor Doom. I want Doom in Avengers, basically. I have to agree. Um, one of the saddest moments in my life. Well, it's up there, you know, maybe top twenty, top ten. Is, he's, was no, okay. my dad was like, "Hey, we should go see the new Fantastic Four movie." Fantastic Four is one of his. My dad has been collecting comics since he was fucking a wee lad. A wee lad. My nice. grandmother threw out Spider Man number one. He had that, and he had it. He didn't put his shit away. So you know, fucking newsflash to all you children: put your shit away and keep it in a safe place. Because my grandmother literally threw out Amazing Fantasy fifteen or whatever it is. Yeah. The- Fantastic Four has been one of his favorite comics 
of all time for his whole life. And I'm not bashing anybody who is a fan of the Fantastic He's a Four. very big fan of it. He was like, we gotta go see this movie. It's gonna be really good. And I'm like, Dad, this movie's fucking horrible. And he was like, oh, all right, you know, we, we won't go see it in theaters. And there was one night I came home from, you know, hanging out with some friends. And it's like Did you 1 o'clock in the morning. I never saw it. We never saw it in theaters. Okay. I come home. He's watching it on HBO. And I catch the last 15 minutes of it. I sit down and I watch it with The him. last 15 minutes is like, if you want to call it action. I've never, it's like insulting it to my. It was fucking weird. It's insulting to my intelligence. I just don't like how the thing doesn't wear pants. That was that, my biggest thing. Listen, That's the biggest jarring thing with it. Listen. The fucking redesigns or whatever, but the most in fucking grating thing is that he's doomed for like 15 minutes. It's he's, all 15 minutes you've probably seen. Yeah. And he goes in the thing, and I'm like, oh, you know, he's kind of badass. Maybe this movie has like, can redeem itself in this like, and then no. sequence. And I'm like, oh, wait a second. You each fight him once, one on one, lose. Oh, we're just going to do a team attack, and he's done. And it's like, I was like, holy shit. There was no point to this film. Like, this whole movie was backstory for them. I'm like, this movie sucks. This is not getting a sequel. There's nothing redeeming about this movie. Like, The movie ended. Credits are rolling. We're sitting there on the couch. He stands up, shuts the TV off, and he was like, that is one of the fucking worst movies I've ever seen. And I'm like, was oh, God, that hurts because it was lit- that's literally been one of his favorite things. But I have to agree with you wholeheartedly. Like I said, X Men can exist on their own. I'm very excited for Dark Phoenix. New Mutants looks uh, interesting. You know what? Actually, real quick, it, this goes in the group though. I would like to see Ghost Rider done better with Marvel. I think Ghost Rider should go in the, should fall in. Well, I mean, Agents of Sealed Ghost Rider is pretty good. I don't know if I would take that one or if I want a new movie. Or I can see I a, Netflix a Netflix series. Netflix series. I can see Ghost Rider yeah, being like, one of the Netflix series. He, he tr- he's like in that. See, the problem is like the first one I actually remember, and then like, it was good. Second one was weird. Couldn't believe there was a second one when it, like you look it back and you're like, oh yeah, that happened. But like, I don't know. Some of these people, I just want back to the like some of the, like the especially the ones that they've ruined. I think, no. Mar- X-Men, they've done a decent job. Of Marvel owns before. the right to Ghost Rider, though, because he's an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, I mean, it's the new. It's not Johnny Blaze, it's Robbie Ray is, but it's pretty good. I mean, I'll, I'll, I've watched a couple of those episodes with him in it, and it's pretty good. I don't he, know how the film John, rights work. No, he went back because they didn't make a movie in time. I guess Johnny Blaze. Oh, yeah, it might still get back. That's what it is. Yeah. It, they made the Fantastic Four movie. To keep, keep the, the rights. rights. I think they have to but make a new movie every, every five, five years. or six years. Yeah, and they did it for Fantastic Four. They churned it out. Churned it out. Churned it out. It's a very underlined bold face. Yes, italicized. If you're like skimming through the paper, it leaps off the page. It, it's churned out. But like, uh, uh, nothing makes it more baffling to me personally is that the director's like, "Well, that's not what I wanted." They cut all the things I wanted in there, and then I'm like, "You know what? Actually." Your movie would have been worse, actually. You wanted Doom to be a hacker. He would have had no powers. I thought he was already a hacker. He was supposed to just be a blogger and never get any powers. He was literally just supposed to be, like, a fucking 4chan, basically. God damn it, dude. And I'm like, your movie's somehow worse. It'd be like if I had a nightmare and I woke up and then someone was like, oh, I could top that. I'm gonna make that movie even worse. Even worse. Like, it's impossible. You took a shit and it went back in and you And you pooped it out worse. Yes. he, He got stuck. (laughs) <laughs> but um like you're saying i do not think that the mcu needs x-men i believe no. they can exist on their own i do believe a fantastic four dr doom would do very well because i could see dr doom as a very good phase four villain dr doom is it they're they're in desperate need at, at least in my opinion it's people may disagree that's fine but after Thanos, you're really like unless you're going back to like single i'm gonna one off you this movie yeah, you need a big, they're in overarching dan- big bad. They're in dan- They're running out. Not that they're running out. I mean, out. the scrolls are coming. They could do a lot with it, but I think Doctor Doom would be a very great you're, place to go with it. You're basically, in my opinion, you're two big non-universal scale villains are Doom and Magneto, and they own neither one. Basically, if we're going, if we're going big, you know. Not like being I would like, say Doom. No, I would say no, Doom no, is... No, but not like... 
um, Thanos is like cosmic. on the cosmic level. If you're putting somebody on the well, earth, like earth, it's Doom. It's Doom and Magneto, in my opinion. They're Doom the is, two bigger ones. Doom is and the biggest. Doom is the biggest. I'm not disagreeing. Oh, but yeah. Magneto's like the second level. They don't he own has the right all, side. They own neither one of them. So you're... It's raising the cost of movies because you have to CG the space shit automatically because you can't really be on in space. Earth too much. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how Infinity Wars is going to go, but... Yeah. We'll, I mean, I'm not saying that movie is going to be good. It's going to be fucking phenomenal, but I'm not going to lie that it's going to be expensive. Yes. They'll make their money back yeah, more likely than not. Like I said, I mean, we have to say uh, Fantastic Four came out in what? 2014? The, the like the new one the shitty one oh the shitty one is like maybe 15 15 14 15 we have they need to make like I said there were talks at this past comic con that there would be a doom movie coming out Dr. Doom solely oh if that doesn't get made they really need to I mean right now they're introducing the Fantastic Four I believe back into Marvel Comics which they were like, prominent for a little while what does Fox really have to gain from like spending like millions of dollars to, like turn out the movie and then it's just shit like, there's no way they made their money back you know if we're really playing that game just take the Sony route sell the right like do the Spider-Man route fucking give them uh, no, five you know, at movies at this point if I'm Marvel I'd say fuck them because at least the Spider-Man movies are like, even though people hate Amazing Spider-Man Two, it, it was, was never as bad it as that right. Fantastic Four movie. I liked it. I mean, Would you not agree with that though? Like no, even I, like Amazing Spider-Man Two, people hated the movie, but even that is like ten times. But better it's like than I understand why they hated it, and I it's I a setup get for the third one. It. Oh, absolutely, they, I hate too when you see a film that's not a self-contained film. That's absolutely. I, there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to write a story that. It's fulfilled in your hour and a half to two and a half hours. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. And then you leave a little wiggle room. If you it does well enough, you can come back. You can revisit. It'll leave a little something. But you're not being like, all right, hey, That cool. whole movie was a setup. We'll resolve this movie in the third one. Yes. And it's not sensible. Um, but I think they should just do kind of the Spider-Man route. Be like, here, we'll sell you the movie rights for five movies or whatever it is. I don't think they will, only because. I think they, I know they, they won't do it for X-Men because X-Men is doing no, significantly well. I don't think they have any reason to do it for X-Men. But I, my point is, is if I'm Marvel and I'm seeing what Fox has done already... They're hoping they just keep fucking up and then they'll eventually just get the rights back. That's what, that's what you do. I would not even work with them for the... Because at this point, it's like... If they just turned out one of the worst superheroes. If you films, don't need, if you don't need to work with them, I would say no. But if you're like, hey, we want to put Doctor Doom in, I don't, yeah, you work with them. They already did though for Quicksilver and uh, Scarlet Witch. They did have to make that choice. Yeah, they did have to make that. They just uh, had. They just couldn't reference Magneto. That was it. Uh, yes, Magneto wasn't a reference, but in you weren't the, allowed to. That, that was the, part of the agreement. No, in the Quicksilver, in the X Men Quicksilver, yes, you know Magneto is his father. No, yes, in the X Men one because they own the rights. Yes, yes. But, Fox's oh yeah, they were just kid, they the, were just people. Yes, they were just random people. You wouldn't have known. I actually don't know how the Scarlet Witch thing is still working out. Um, I don't know how they're. At the, the I think I the guess it's just was, rights. The agreement was just that they can't mention oh, Magneto. That's good for them. yeah. That's not even so bad, like, that bad. I mean, it makes sense, but I guess like I don't know why they wouldn't even because like you're gonna look for Magneto and then you're gonna find their movie and then you would just watch and consume their. movie. It's weird. I don't know. Like I said, I don't, I don't, wouldn't even touch X Men at this point because it would just be confusing. It's There's ways silly you could... for Fox to even entertain the idea of doing anything with the X Men, being that it's been moderately successful. At least I, if I was Marvel, I wouldn't touch the X Men. I would. We're it's not even Marvel. I'm talking about Fox even. Yeah, no. I, I yeah. like. I think that's a point where it's like you do you, we do me, but we need you know you get the, the Doom and Fantastic Four. That's all I would go for at this point. Yeah. I mean that's because look at it this way, you got to recast Wolverine if you take the X Men from Fox. You're I, not going to recast. Wolverine. I know, like if you asked me, and it was like 2010, Avengers wasn't out. It was like it's coming soon. If I had to like, I think that was 2008. Is that when Avengers came? Out? Uh, continue, continue. Whatever. I'm sorry. It was. Yeah, I. I you yeah. know what I'm talking. About. Whatever. I know. Year it I know was. what you mean. Yeah. If before it was, it was like my dream six. If you had the movie, like I saw the first Avengers that came out, I was like, oh, I love the movie. But you know what would have been better if I could have had any Spider-Man in there which they did to their credit for the to next to their credit movie. they got it in and I was like I really want a Hugh Jackman Wolverine and any Spider-Man in the movie and I was like perfect but I was like ah oh, you know at that time I was like neither one of those is gonna happen so you know what you take what you can get 
And that's it. Because I love the castings across the board. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. For all four of like, the main Avengers. I mean, Hulk's just a CG thing. So it's whatever. Um, You'll see that in Ragnarok. I think Ruffalo, he does talk as Hulk. I'll spoil that much. Um, It works well. All right. So, yeah, well... We'll get there. That but that's is just a week from this. Side, side comment. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, but apparently this is all we're talking out our fucking buttholes because yeah, all those talks fell apart. I'm hoping that the... I hadn't seen anybody that was like, why would they do that? Nah. But every overwhelmingly positive. Over. So maybe that leads to it reopening the door? I don't think... Disney buys 21st Century Fox. Not, the, I not think its, its entirety. I think it, it's the entertainment wing. I think wing. it's... I think it's. Well, no, no, no. 21st Isn't that the entertainment wing? No, they were talking the Fox in general, but I think it went from they were going to buy everything to, all right, well, let's reel it in and we'll just buy like the, the, move me, like the movie and television wing. That would be weird, though, to have Disney own... Everything. Like, the Simpsons. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I... I think... I don't, Would I go to a Simpsons world? Would you go to a Simpsons world? I just thought they to, have one at Universal. No, at Universal. They got a ride. At, a Univer, at Universal, though. But if Disney bought Fox... No, I don't think they would put a Simpsons world. Really? You don't think? No. They have enough shit of their own that they can make. They have a Harry, uh, Harry Potter world at Universal. Universal. Right? They could do... Like I said, they could do Pixar. They could do would Marvel Would you go there, too? Even... Yeah, I'll totally say, let's, let's say it's not... They got Star Wars world, too. It's not at Universal. Or it's not at Disney. Right? Oh, I would go. Would yeah. you go if they made, like, a Springfield? Yeah, that would be like, pretty fucking cool. I think I'd go. I mean, oh, I, I would totally, I would go. I don't know that I think I'd go. But, like... Oh, yeah. i totally fucking go. But, like, do I think it would happen? No. I think it has the draw. I mean, this is oh, it would have the draw, but I... If they bought it, you don't... I think the first things that they would do if they bought it was they would work the newly acquired properties in. If this is in my opinion. Like, in terms of like, in terms of the superheroes. Yeah. To stay on top of it, that they would work those guys in somehow. They would, they would expedite it. They wouldn't even, like, sit on it. They would, like, force the issue with, like, a Doctor Doom... Or, like, maybe they have, like, somebody in the... Like, maybe if they really like the Fantastic Four, let's say, they have them come in in, like, a Spider-Man level role in the one Civil War movie where it's, like, kind of in passing. I think they, they would pull them in from, like, oh, my God, we've been in deep space in this or fucking shit, thing yeah. for this They happen long. to bump into them when they're fighting in, like, the... Maybe yeah. in the interim between the, the new... I forget what they... The Phantom it's, Zone? No, that's DC, the, maybe. The Phantom Zone. They, there was fucking some shit like that in... Shadow Room? In the fucking chat, it was some shit like that, in like Civil War, where they would like, they put peep, they put the villains in this fucking shadow realm thing. They yeah, fucking banished them to the shadow. I think it's phantoms. I, don't I know think it is it. one or the other. It just makes it just reminds me of the Superman too. Oh my god, we got trapped in the Phantom Zone, but now we're back. Cool, no. just go for it. Yeah, yeah, that's how they would do it. You know what I'm talking about the, the yeah. Superman too. Yeah, with the fucking um, they the, trap them in the window. With pane. Zod and the other people. Zod right? gang, <laughs> they trap them in the fucking window pane. The good old I, for Reed once. I love that fucking effect where they're in that fucking they like trapped in the. Ah. Window pane. It's a great movie, but um, I don't want the I don't want Disney to own the Simpsons. I just want them to own. They would own all. No, but that was the original, and they really. Oh no, yeah, didn't. they would own fucking everything. I mean, the what would they like? They wouldn't change anything. I imagine they would just like, okay, you own this too, and then they but would like just, yeah, continue what you're doing. Yeah, just do whatever you want. Like, I don't think they would change anything on a level of like, oh, we own the Simpsons now. Oh, we like. We're gonna put Mickey Mouse in every episode. <laughs> be weird. Mickey Mouse is like the the, the new fourth, scratchy. No, the fourth fucking Simpsons child. Like it's not even like. And he's still, gives birth to Mickey Mouse. And he's still the same. Like nothing's different. Like it's, somehow he's older than Maggie from birth. But he's like, just yellow. But he's yeah, he's just yellow. But he's this. He's still black majority. But anything that was originally like a skin tone is now yellow. I wouldn't watch. But <laughs> the, uh, speaking of ruling the world, um. Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, that is a globe-trotting adventure, if you'd say. Um, I'm going to preface this with I'm only about 100 stars in, and it is 100% my game of the year. Not that I've played many good games this year, <sighs> or new games, but... It's tough for me. If we're putting it... Th- okay, we'll put it out this way. Rank it between... All the, three, all the 3D Mario? I could do that. Let's say Odyssey, Galaxy, Sunshine, and 64. Now, uh, so real quick, before I answer this, Nintendo themselves has like the chimeline chart kind of thing before the game came out. They pointed their bath center no, field and lo- said this was 
sunshine level. But they lumped it. And now that you're saying this, by the way, the top thing was Galaxy 1, 2, 3D World, and the 3D Land as the biggest one. They were on the top ones, and it was just 64 and And Sunshine Sunshine on the bottom. And they put Odyssey on the bottom one, which is, I would agree. But I had the semantic argument with this. I just want to see what you had to say. What? Because Galaxy 2... In the in the three D landed world, yeah. I can totally agree. Are a different type of game. They're way more linear. It's uh, can self contained stages, and you go through from point A to point B. You get the I think it's the flags and some of you them. You get the, the galaxy stars. or the stars or whatever. Yeah, whatever. You whatever get the, it is. The objective. The objective, and it's done. Now with Galaxy One. You definitely have the worlds, and it's like the six stars or so in each world. You could cross, the, but you could go into the first star and be like, hey, there's also this warp star that I could go to a separate thing. No, I know what you're, yeah, but like, it has the six stars in the worlds, right? Yeah. But, because then some, he's, because the person I was arguing with had said, well, you can only get the one star. It's a linear path. It's the same world six times redone with a linear path to get to the other one. I said... Well, couldn't that just be any of them then? Because then most of the time... Not with... Mario 64 is the only one where... Not the only one, but you can kind of get the other stars at the same time. Like, yeah. Like, Bob on Battlefield. Like, yeah, you, you can could get go the Chain and... Chomp one on every single time. You can only get certain ones depending on what map you choose. Like You have to beat one to get two. But sometimes you can, you can get, get four like, before you get one. One. Yes. But and I guess my thing was that I would classify Galaxy One only the first one. Yeah, on not the two. bottom. Yeah, with them. Oh yeah. Would you? If you would agree I agree with, with that. Yeah, one hundred percent. I just thought it was weird because I know the second one's very like you pick it a is, planet and it's just one star. One star. And but just, I remember in Galaxy you could get other stars if you. It say, was the same world. Take like this. Sisters. You take this warp star and you go to a different place. If I had to, so let's just say the four on the bottom, ignoring the four on the top. Yeah. Not a different type of game. The four on the top. So the four, the three on the top that we won't. We're not involved, even talking about Galaxy Two, and the two three D. We're not even world. talking about them. We're not discussing. Out of the bottom four, it's tough for me. I think definitely though, in my opinion, not that they're not that it's bad. The, in, none of them are bad. Games. None of them are bad in general. In the sweeping argument of games. But I probably put Sunshine as my bottom. I can agree with that. And then from there, it gets a little hairy. I don't know what would be one, but I think I'd probably go. I think it might be the touch of nostalgia with sixty four. Sixty four is one, and I think Galaxy and Odyssey are tied at two, two. and Sunshine's at the bottom. I agree with that. Is my I definitely my like. Choice. I'm a hundred percent sure in like in from my feelings that uh, Sunshine's at the bottom. Not that it's not that bad, it's bad but I just feel like... I it, think the mechanics and stuff aren't as strong with the Flood. Then. Well, it's basically just like, here's the six things you could do with the Flood. It's not Have that, fun. It's not that it's bad in general. It's the, the with the Flood options that they give you versus the star, like the, the, the 3D, like... Not the 3D, but like the... You can like go well, around the, take, flood, the gravity. Like you take out. Gravity and you take Cappy. Those are both two fucking there are wild better, ass mechanics. There are better like gimmicky mechanics than the Flood was. Than Flood. Yeah. And then 60, 64, 64 is the contr- top. Controls best. Uh, not controls best, but like, I don't know. It's more, I, I don't know if it's more memorable to me because it's the one I've like been around for like no, 20 it's, years. It's, like I said, point. that started, that, that would say, That's the first like real 3D game. Like I, I, I completely agree with you. I mean, I, I can't. That was what I was gonna say. You know, not that, now, not that any of them are bad, but like, no, none of them are bad. They're all like basically like nine to ten. Out of I 10 just think games. Galaxy and Odyssey both took what was normal, I and like, added such a fucking twist to it. Absolutely. Yeah, with the like, in terms of the game of the year, I mean, if I had to think of it, the bigger games that came out this year. I know it seems like it's been an eternity. You got Breath of the Wild stuff. No, like I said, Nintendo's got two... Uh, they that's... actually have two games that could debatably, you would argue, are the best at their respective genre ever. That Not even just this year. Look at it. These are two of the best games that will ever come out on the system within six months. It's not even that. Like, you're talking... You got the best... You could debate... Best platformer. That's the best platformer of all time. And it's the best open world RPG 
ever. What else are you gonna like? That's the biggest thing. That's what are you gonna? What else is in that category? You know, Skyrim. You got Scrim. Yeah. Um, for platformer, what do you got? You know, Galaxy. Fucking. It's, yeah, you got Galaxy, Galaxy. sixty four. Like, and especially three D platformers. It hasn't been. You got Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie. Most of them in Conquer's Bay. For most of the three D platformers that you would put in the category of like being like the best at that job have come like. 10, 20 years before Long this. time ago, yeah. Like, Not the platformer is, is my, probably my favorite genre of game, but it's also the one that has been neglected the most recently. Yeah, no, I agree with that. So, like, I tend to buy all the ones that come out just to, like, support the companies that are doing it to show, like, keep doing this. Yeah, we're going to say Ukulele could have been a lot better. But I beat ukulele 100 percent of it. I don't think it was as horrendous as people had said it was. It could have been better. Sure. I just went into it being like, "This is the Banjo Kazooie Love Child," and I was I, like, "This is not the Banjo Kazooie." No, see, I Love think Child. four of the five levels are good. The casino level sucks. If it wasn't in it, the game would be better. I went through. I thought it was fine. The humor for me, I kind of like the fourth wall, like yeah, which is good. I enjoy it. Breaking, yeah. like it. I thought it was fine. It's not as good as like Banjo One. No, or but it was fine. I didn't think it deserved. I don't think it was sixty dollars either. So no. like, I don't have a problem with the, when they know that the game's like not a lot of content and they charge the shit appropriately unlike Bubsy which is somehow $30 I can't believe it's $30 by the way another fucking story for another time Bubsy the fucking return of Bubsy Wooly's Revenge or whatever the fuck it is $30 the game is an hour and a half long it, that's unacceptable bullshit it's, it's unacceptable $10 game. that's a $10 game. it's unacceptable for 30 bucks. I mean, I, I I won't buy it. I'll, maybe I'll get it when it's on sale for the sheer novelty of, like, I can't fucking believe it's real kind of thing. Like, the game wasn't good then. So, like, it's back. So, yeah. like, there's games that, like, don't get sequels that, like, deserve sequels. And then Bubsy fucking gets and a fucking sequel. Gets a fucking sequel. What could possibly go wrong, dude? And we're talking about sequel games... I guess we'll move. Well, let's let's close. Close. I, thought, I think it's really great. Give it a nu- numerical. Ten? Would you give it a ten? Or would you give it like a... a nine nine, 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 mid, mid I nine. mean, give it 9.5, 10. I'm through the game, and I'm at... Uh, I have 770 stars, so... I would probably give it a rough cut of like... I'd probably give it like a mid-9 to 10 range. Um, my biggest thing is that it really, I, I thought I was going to hate Cappy when I saw like the E3 footage and I really do love the mechanic now. Oh, the capturing. Yeah. I, yeah, I thought it's good. I think it's a good mechanic to the game. I, there will be back. Probably not. Cause they did no, not do. Sequels. Unless Odyssey 2. Maybe. I mean, some of the kingdoms are really good. New Dunk City, and I like the food one actually too. I haven't gotten to the food one yet, but I played through a little bit on Jeff's, and it's fucking fun as hell. Yeah, I mean, there's some weak ones, but it's like there's eight hundred. There's eight hundred plus. Stars. Not everything's gonna be a fucking. It's um, impossible to like a home run for all of them. every fucking one. It's just you're asking the impossible, basically. So, I mean, we'll move from uh, one platformer. To, to um, another more, I guess it's like two weeks. More seven. recent, yeah. It is, well, it's earlier this week. Uh, it came out on Tuesday, Sonic Forces. Just imagine a person, and then imagine Dan going up to that person and taking their butthole and ripping it open. I'm, <laughs> this is Sonic Forces. That's a, it's heartbreaking. I haven't been this upset uh, in a while. <laughs> in a while. In a really long time. I'm looking forward to this game. Uh... Before, like, I get the things where it's like, well, you didn't even like Sonic, or whatever. I'll defend Adventure 1 and 2 till the cows come home, by the way. Fair. Right? Good games. I'll, I'll defend until the cows come Good home. Good games. So, it's not that. It's like, I love Generations, loved Colors, Lost World was meh. Boom's Mania not a, was a good game. Mania was good. Boom is not a real Sonic game. It's not made by Sonic Team. It's a third fucking, it's like an outsourced game. Fair. Doesn't count. It doesn't, I don't it's count weird. it. I don't count it. The point is, 
I got it. The story's weird. The story's like a realistic war. This is also going to be spoiler heavy. Spoiler written. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, it's a $40 game. I will say that. I got it for 25 after like various discounts and stuff. So for $25, I guess it was worth it. There's only 30 levels. It's basically a dollar a level. And these levels are short. These levels are not long. The gameplay, for whatever reason, the gameplay in the free DLC episode with Shadow, the platforming is better than like the real game. I don't know why that is. I expect a lot of these problems to be worked out and fixed Patched via out. patch yeah. as time goes on. So if you take the assumption that everything's fixed, like the clunkiness and the weirdness of like the controls at some point, the game's like a meh game, whatever you would give an average game. It's five, like, five or six. I for five years in development, <laughs> I don't know. Disgusting. It's like, I guess they didn't have the gall to charge $60, which is better for me. Save my wallet. But the story's weird. It's a realistic war thing. I didn't expect your original character, your custom character to have like as much pull as he did like he's heavily involved in the story like i expected him to be there but like you see the trailer and it's like oh sonic's here oh it's classic sonic from it's so it's oh it's generations 2 basically classic sonic might as well not even be in the game <laughs> now that i beat it he might as well not be there <laughs> uh it's a fucking tease to see all the big villains from all the games that you have played in, like, were good. And you enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they conveniently skipped, like, uh, fucking... Mef- the fucking guy from those six, like, Mephiles? Mephiles? I think it's, like, Mephiles, yeah. It's, like, the fucking... He's not in the game. Good. Good. Like, they skipped it. They picked all the ones that you would want to see. They have Chaos from Adventure 1, Shadow, Shadow. from Adventure 2, Metal Sonic, obviously from CD, but also from Heroes. He was the real bad guy. Fair. And then you have the new guy. And that but, other, the silvery guy. Well, the silvery guy's not a villain. He's Wait, I thought there was... What was that trailer? Yeah, oh, wait, no, it's Zavix from Lost Zavix, World. Zavix, yeah. He's from Lost is. World. Yeah, so they got him from Lost World. Not that... The Deadly Six or whatever, but... The... Like... It's fuck. The game is mad. Like, the control's weird. The original character has no need to be in the game. <laughs> Uh, I mean, in general, numerically, five and a half. I mean, if you're considering five to be your typical average, run yeah. the game, not your IGN sevens, you average. No, game, fuck IGN. I'll give it a six. If they fix everything, I can maybe bump it to like a six and a seven. But I don't even think they're gonna fix it. It's not worth forty bucks, maybe twenty mid twenties. But all the shit you'd, you'd want is not important. Like, they're very minimal. Infinite's fine. He is... A lot of the boss fights are the same, basically. Like, you're like... I don't know. Something needs to be done. He's like a refresher. Like, I liked Unleashed half the game. Half the game, not the, the werewolf. The morning, the daytime levels are more than acceptable for a game. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's the siren. And siren, that siren ooh means... That siren means it's time for a personal story. So personal story? So oh, God, idea. shit. Um, so, background. Um, this was, shit, I, we were still on co-op. It was September. So, um, for my dad's birthday in September, um, a couple of his friends and, like, my uncle, one of my cousins, my grandma, we all went to a Yankee game. So, we're in Philly right now. So, this was a Friday. He told me about it on Tuesday. He was like, hey, come up. We're going to this Yankee game. And I'm like... All right, old man, fuck off. I don't have a car. I got to take the train up. So I take the train from Philly to Trenton, from Trenton to Penn Station, and then I have to take the subway to the Bronx. I get on the subway, normal subway. I have my headphones in. I take them off once I get on the subway. And the first like, thing he hears is, uh, he's, they're walking here. They're, we're, we're walking here. They're walking. It's big kahuna. Big kahuna. It's the, the coupe de grass. <laughs> the coupe you know? de grass. Someone throws lasagna at my face. <laughs> so lasagna. we go maybe one stop from... I guess it's Herald Square because you got to walk over from Penn Station and I'm on the D train. Um, for, you know, younger, I would say high school to middle school kids, get on. You know, it's Friday. They're fucking around. They are weekend time. Fine. One of them pulls out a Pop-Tart, a package of Pop-Tarts. It's chocolate frosted Pop-Tarts. This is when shit gets dicey. 
One of them breaks one of them up, eats it. Then he breaks up the other Pop-Tart and starts play throwing at his friends. Then he throws one at his friend. And then that friend throws that Pop-Tart back. And then they begin to throw Pop-Tarts at each other. Cool. So I'm standing like on one side of the doors. They're standing on or they're sitting on the other. The one kid is sitting there. He's talking to his other two friends. The other kid picks up a piece of Pop-Tart off the floor. Beams it. Hits this kid square in the fucking face. He stands up. Picks up the piece of Pop-Tart off the floor. And he says, crazy good? Crazy <laughs> good. Is that the name? That's a, real quick to interrupt you. That was the slogan. Yeah, I think that was Pop-Tarts. Okay. He winds it up like a fucking World Series pitcher going for fucking two strikes bottom of the ninth. The one kid dodges it, and he oh, wails it, and he hits some man's square in the head. There's no way that man's taking it sitting down. I'm going to say, that, you know, he was maybe 20, 25, 30 at the oldest. He wasn't too much older than us. He stands up, and he's like, what the fuck? And this is when everybody kind of takes a step back. Everybody's, everybody's looking around. No one knows what's happening. He's like, what the Fuck, what are you doing? Stop being immature. You guys are howl, playing with Pop Tarts. Like, fuck <laughs> you, man. Fuck off. We're just, what are you going to do? Throw it back at us? Blah, blah, blah. So they're going at each other. Playing this, with a Pop Tart. Playing with a Pop Tart. That's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> this goes on for one or two stops. Oh my God, still? They're like, just screaming. They're, they're just, throwing the Pop Tart back they're throwing two it, stops? They're throwing it back. The kids are throwing it at each other. This guy's yelling at the kids. Other people start yelling at the kids. I'm just sitting there fucking chuckling, hanging, sitting on my pole. It gets to one stop. The guy who got hit in the face gets off. And he smacks the kid? The kid who throws the Pop Tart runs off the train. Everybody floods to the one side to look at this. The kid starts to go up the stairs. The guy gets on a connecting train. He's standing right at the door because the it's you know it's crowded you know it's six o'clock seven o'clock. Kid still has a piece of pop tart in his hand. He starts to walk up the stairs, runs back down, goes full pitch, <laughs> and it. as the doors are closing, <laughs> sneaks it right through the doors, hits this guy square in the chest, and bolts up the stairs. His friends start cheering. People start are like, "What the fuck is going on?" I'm cracking up. You can see this guy's face. He's like wiping his shirt off, banging on the doors. And I'm cracking up. And I'm like, the kids see me. They're like, I was like, dude, that was fucking hilarious. He's like, I don't know what he was like. We live like 30 blocks from here. I don't even know why he got off. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm just like. That's quite a throw to fucking squeeze that through the clothes. Oh, no. It was maybe, you maybe have like 10 inches. The kid fucking sneaked in. It was sniped him. (laughs) Fucking amazing. And I was just sitting there. I'm like. New York subways are so much better than Philly subways. Oh, it's subways. Yeah. L's, whatever the fuck you people call them. That's it's fucking it's above stupid. Ground yeah, L's. Fucking, whatever the fuck. Train. It's stupid. They're all fucking subways. It's stupid. <laughs> subway implies that it's subterranean. The L's are... The, the L is... The I, L's above ground. I'm never gonna... No, the L also goes underground. But it's mostly above ground. That's the name of it. It's elevated train. I don't really see. That is why I don't like it's it. Subterranean. Well, from like... Is 60th Street even above ground? No, every like 60th to Second Street's underground. Frankfurt Transportation Center is like the one end that. It's yeah, Frankfurt to like Second is un- up above ground, but the rest of it's the underground. The other way is above ground too. Is it? Yeah, dude. When Where you would have gone on was above ground at like your heart. Oh no no no! Oh, yeah, I'm talking from like Second to Frankfurt is above ground, but like go, Second to Sixtieth is I underground, go, right? I go the other way. I think about half of it's underground. But it's still above too, so like half of it's above, so it's just a train then. Sure, well, it's not a train. I don't even want to get into this argument because it's like it it's just fucking tra- frustrates me. It's a train. I like trains. I like trains and train accessories. Trains and trains accessories. All right, so that's what we got. I guess that's we covered everything. We covered everything we needed to talk about. I will do it in short. We'll do like a, a TL TLDR DR at the end tilde. Um. Yeah. NYC that? subways are fun. Pop tarts, uh, crazy good. Apparently, pop tarts are crazy good. Apparently, great for throwing. Um, Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces six and a half. Mario Odyssey nine and a half. Nine and a half. Um, um far, uh, Fox and Disney trying to work together to do a little buyout action. Uh, cautiously excited. Cautiously excited. I would say I don't think it's happening. I'm not getting my hopes up. I'll my hopes are not up. Uh, we'll say that. My hopes are not up. 
Ah, uh, and then? Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's going to stick his dick in just about everything because that's what he does. That is what he does. Doesn't, uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what uh, it is. What, but what, you can't, what you think. <laughs> here he is. He's here. It's The Rock. Him? Soon uh, he'll be the President of the United States. I sure hope not. God forbid. <laughs> it's already like a... Uh, but <laughs> Did he already? I thought he already. I don't even want to. I cause, sure hope not. Because Kanye yeah. said he was going to run too, and I don't want either of them to run. I want you to be like lyrical wordsmith. Mother, I'm a rapper by K and John. Mother, mm. a mother fucking genius. Oh my God, he's apparently rap. fucking uh, Trump tried to go into the DMZ when he was in South Korea. Do, want to do a little dance? Maybe? Do a little dance. Make, make a, a little, little love. love. Get oh, down actually, tonight. Actually, one final point. One final point. Up. Uh, the only thing uh, the music of Forces versus Odyssey I can do that oh um, Odyssey is 100% better just for that one fucking I disagree I think that last song you sent me with the credits was pretty good but I don't think that's the main song of the game it has that same problem as 06 where they play the one song that's really really good and it's every fucking theme basically like in in Sonic 06, it's nowhere near as bad as Sonic 06, but it has the same like thing. In Sonic 06, his world plays. It's the opening song. It's like the instrumentals, like the good job one, and then there's like a sad slowed down one. Is like the losing song. It's they're all like besides they're the melody, all the same song, but most of the time you're hearing the song constantly, and it's just different like pitches or like yeah. different you feel a different way. It has the same thing with the fucking fist bump song. I love the song. I think I like the song better. Then jump up superstar. I will say they're probably about equal in mine, but I think with Odyssey songs, the rest of them being like the, your typical Mario, like it has like the instrumental said, that, orchestral. That woods, that wood, the no, that's I, great. That's I'm not saying the songs. Are I haven't bad. played Forces though, so that makes. Sense. I'm not saying the songs are bad. Oh, no, I no, like, yeah. I like the fist bump song. It's the main theme. I like Infinite's theme, which is the one I I had played yeah. for you earlier. I like those two. There's one other one that I don't know the name of uh, that plays in the beginning of the game when they assume Sonic's dead. I, I like that. The, the way that one sounded too was really good. The ending song was kind of weird, but I think like between those three are super memorable and good and songs I listen to again versus like I can only listen to like like besides Jump Up, the, the only one with vocals in it, even though there's a second one that plays in the credits that yeah. I haven't heard. I beat both the full game and yeah. the darker side of the moon. I don't think I've heard that song once. I don't think I the Jump Up Superstar does what it's supposed to do, and it gives hypes you, that, you up. It hypes you up, and it has that Broadway vibe to it because it's it's played in the city. But that's all they play it for. Yes, that's what. It, and they also play on the, the theme before the final yeah. balls. The final. Oh, the okay, darker yeah. side of the moon it plays too, but the the. Uh, it gives you the vibe that it's supposed to give. I like it. It's uplifting. It's good. I just think Sonic music, even all the way back, basically, they transcend the game for me. Sometimes it's cliche, sure. Sometimes it's cheesy. But a lot of times they sound like real songs. Yeah, they sound like pretty good. Like, this isn't just real, like, video rocky game. songs. Yeah. yeah, like, so. Uh, it's probably my, like, the closing thoughts I have to wrap everything up. Yeah. <laughs> look forward to uh, next week. You got. Uh, I don't know what the fuck's even going on. Tuesday. I don't know what the Tuesday one will bring. It's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be a surprise even for us because we haven't no, came up with it yet. Gonna, no, no, we know. Oh, well, we know. <laughs> just kidding. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a, best yeah. episode yet. Oh, to just get better. Oh, again. you guys just need to just wait. But Friday though, Justice for, League. Friday's and, gonna be a good one. And and Thor. Uh, get ready to hear my that. fucking two cents on everything, which will be a lot of sense. But um, just expect minute. most likely, since Jeff Goldblum's in Thor, that a thorough discussion of Jurassic Park will also thorough, follow. Uh, Jurassic <laughs> Park's gonna come up a lot. It's probably gonna come up. I've seen Thor, and all of Jeff Goldblum's roles have been preparing him to play the Grandmaster. Just put it out there. Um, I will end with my last thought. Uh, if they do buy it, give me Secret Wars. Uh, Hank Hill is canon. Hank Hill is canon because in of Silver the, Surfer. In the Silver Surfer met him on Fox. Oh, shit. He would, they would have King of the Hill, too. Wait, they bring back King of the Hill. 
Holy shit, Can't, Hank Hill's gonna be in Secret Wars. No, he'd be in fucking... Imagine they fucking do Hank Hill in Kingdom Hearts. Damn it, Mickey. Wouldn't it be King of the Hearts? King of the Hearts? Just sore running with the Keyblade? No, there, he's drinking a fucking beer with the Keyblade in the alleyway. Like, I sell Keyblade key Keyblade accessories. accessories. On that note, leaving you guys with that oh, beautiful Oh, Kingdom message. Hanks. Kingdom Anyways. Hanks. Oh, that's what it is. That's anyway. The that's the joke. Um, I've been I've been Andy. And I've been Dan. Will be. I guess that's a weird, <laughs> that was a weird way to word that. But um, this has been... Uh, this just is just another wonderful episode. Another wonderful episode of we'll Just see Andy. You uh, bright and early. Very Wednesday. soon. Soon for the ASMR episode. Wednesday. Bye. Not not that not ASMR, Wednesday. The ASMR one won't be Wednesday. Wednesday. This will just be a real Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> real Wednesday, not fake Wednesday. Come on down to real Wednesdays. Come on down to real Wednesday. Wednesdays. It'll be Wednesdays, my Wednesdays. dudes. Oh.